Hi guys, it's Dee and welcome back to Dee's Yard. So it's time to fill up that elevated garden bed that we just finished building with some good organic soil. So it's all set up and ready to go for this fall garden. Excuse the mess, but here I am in my garden shed and here is all the bad goods that I've been stockpiling for quite some time. So now we need to load it up on the tractor and get it over to the garden bed. <laughs> So here it is. This is the mixture of soil that I'm going to put in my elevated garden bed. Now this is not sponsored by either of these companies. However, I wish it was, but majority of them are Spoma Organic and Whitney Farms. They are both fantastic organic companies. The two raised bed mix that I'm using is by Espoma Organic and also Whitney Farms. They're pre-mixed, already ready to go, and they come in a 1.5 cubic foot bag. If you cannot find the raised bed mix, the next best thing would be getting a potting mix as well as organic garden soil and mixing those two together. Also, I'll be mixing in some compost. This is Espoma Organic Land in the Sea compost, and it is absolutely amazing. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and fill up the elevated garden bed. Okay, so when I start to plant, I will mix in this organic biotone starter fertilizer right into the soil. And then halfway through the season, I'll come in and top dress with the garden tone. All right, so it's all filled up and ready to go, and I absolutely love it. This was some good stuff that I put in this garden bed. I'm excited to see what the crops do. I did have some leftover bags and compost, which is awesome because I always have a million projects around the house. All right, so I counted up in all the bags that I used. It was about 27.5 cubic feet, so that equals to about one cubic yard of soil needed to fill up this garden bed. Thank you guys for joining me on filling up this elevated garden bed. I'm super excited and cannot wait for the fall harvest, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.